Tiger Woods sporting his fifth green jacket after winning the Masters yesterday. And it was quite the comeback, mm. right? It's the 43rd year old's 15th major victory, his first in more than a decade. Gio Insignares shares his take on the historic moment. The roar at Augusta yesterday still probably being felt. All we could talk about on Sunday, aside from Game of Thrones, was the history made on a rainy afternoon, washing away the many disappointments and close calls that came before. Tiger Woods winning the Masters after more than 10 years of winning a major and 13 years since his last green jacket is nothing short of spectacular. But as someone who's literally watched Tiger's dominance since I was about three years old, it's worth reflecting on the truly unbelievable path he took to get here and how us as fans reacted along the way. Tiger's first major and first masters came in 1997. Fast forward 11 years and he had just wrapped up winning the US Open, his 14th major on a torn ACL. His greatness was unlike anything in any professional sport. He was beloved by peers, by rivals, and fans like me, hoping to achieve even a hint of that kind of greatness in whatever we were doing. Tiger Woods could do no wrong. He was an idol until he wasn't anymore. We often bring athletes down at a moment of weakness because it brings them closer to us in a way they normally aren't. The money, the fame, the adoration isn't enough to wipe away the pain and embarrassment we think they're sometimes immune to. Tiger Woods' transgressions with his wife and subsequent fallout gave a lot of people the excuse to throw him aside and show that he wasn't worthy of all the love praised upon him. But that moment and the years that followed arguably proved more than anything in recent sports memory the triumph of the human spirit. It sounds like exaggeration, but it showed me and countless others my age that no one's perfect, not even our idols, that we have to remember the world isn't black and white, neither are we. The scoreboard may have a definitive winner and loser, but if we start treating our athletes like that, then we're devaluing them as people and holding them to an impossible standard. You can still like or you can still hate Tiger Woods, but remember to blend the two together. In the last 10 years between major championships, Woods has had a neck injury, sprains, and three back surgeries, at one point saying he could barely walk. We were quick to dismiss Tiger, even labeling him as a horrible and unforgivable person for his past deeds, ready to look for the next Tiger Woods. But only the Tiger Woods can make millions of Americans completely rearrange their Sunday plans to sit in front of a TV and watch golf for hours. And he finally came through, just like old times. To climb back from all he's been through is something an athlete may never top again. So this afternoon, President Trump tweeted his congratulations to Tiger. He says he also wanted to, quote, inform him that because of his incredible success and comeback in sports and importantly, more importantly, life, I will be presenting him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. We'll have more on Tiger's big win a little bit later in sports with Darren.